very nice. Does anybody else sip their tea like that? You know what I mean? Not that. Some say it's not proper to sip your tea like that, but I feel like it tastes better like that. You know what I mean? What's up, you guys? It's Ness, and welcome to another episode of Talks with Ness. Today, I wanted to talk to you guys about investing in yourself and why it's so important. Now, investing in yourself doesn't only come down to just investing in equipment and just buying things to do what you need to do. Investing in yourself also has a lot to do with uh, taking the time and putting the energy into yourself so you can evolve and grow in ways that you need to evolve and grow. When you invest the time and energy into yourself, it creates a sense of self-worth. And that sense of self-worth is so valuable because it allows you to understand your inner value. You get what I'm saying? Before you buy any equipment, before you start any of your businesses, before you do anything else, it'll instill a sense of uh, self-worth and inner value. And that's very important when you're trying to grow and you're trying to just elevate your mind and your businesses, yourself, everything. It's just, it's all encompassing. Not only does investing in yourself give you a sense of self-worth, but it also gives you a sense of direction, which is also very important. A lot of this stuff is very important, but having a sense of direction um, or finding some direction comes from investing in yourself. You put so much time and energy into yourself and what you love, who you are, uh, what you're trying to do, the things that you're trying to create, things that you're trying to build, that um, you now have a sense of direction every day. You know why you're waking up, you know what you want to do, you want to know, you mean you know how you want to do it. Uh, a lot of this stuff doesn't come easily. Like you have to invest the time and energy into yourself. You have to invest into your crafts. Um, and then your inner self, your true self will come out uh, but this is all encompassing investing in yourself. Along with that sense of direction, it also gives you a sense of purpose. You get what I'm saying? Direction and purpose go hand in hand. I mean, you can't have any direction if you don't have any purpose. You can't have any purpose without the purpose. You won't have any direction. You know what I'm saying? I hope that makes sense. Now you may be asking, what are some different ways that you can invest in yourself or you should be investing in yourself? Simply put, that's really preferential. But what I'm speaking on is simply just taking the time to figure out what you like, what you want to do, uh, where you want to go, and just really putting in the time and honing in on that. That'll ultimately like put you where you need to be, but you first have to make that initial investment into yourself. Another thing is you can't be cheap when you are investing in yourself, not only in equipment, but you can't be cheap with, um, you know, just the time and energy that you put into yourself. It's gonna take a lot of time. It's gonna take a lot of energy. Investing in yourself is also gonna take a lot of money. I always see people spend thousands of dollars on everything else but themselves in terms of like, they'll buy like shoes and all, all uh, cars and all this other stuff, but, um, it really comes down to knowing what you like and what you want to do and who you are. You know what I'm saying? That that will define everything that you do. Let me take another sip here real quick. Very nice. Sometimes I like to say I'll be cheap with every, by everybody else and everything else, but I'm not going to be cheap with myself. I'm not going to shortcut myself. I'm not going to undercut myself. And I'm always going to make sure that whatever investment that I'm making is always beneficial to me and my growth and what I'm trying to do. So you can't be cheap. Um, when you're investing in equipment, you should want the best for yourself at all times. Anything that you do, should want, you, want, you should want the best for yourself because that in turn will also make you feel good. Another reason why investing in yourself is so important is because it creates a sense of discipline and consistency. Without discipline, you can't be consistent. And if you can't be consistent, then you can't have discipline. They go hand in hand. You need these key things to make your investments make sense. It doesn't, like again, I keep saying this over and over, it doesn't matter what it is, you need to be disciplined and you need to be consistent. Um, and you can't do one without the other. Uh, but you'll only find these things through investing in yourself and taking the time to really figure out what it is that you like, what it is that you wanna do and where you're trying to go. I think I've said this already, but it's not something that'll happen overnight. Investing in yourself comes with time. You have to put the time and energy into the things that you wanna see grow and the things that you wanna see involved. Main thing being yourself. If you can't put that energy and time into yourself first, you'll never get to where you want to get to. And anything that I've done, whether it be any career that I've done or anything that I've aspired to do and I've done, uh, it all came from not only uh, investing in myself, but because I invested in myself, I was able to take myself more seriously. And I was also able to uh, tap into the things that I've uh, mentioned previously in this video. Anything that I'm speaking on to you guys is things that I've personally experienced in my life and things that I've gone through and things that I know for a fact to be true because I'm living it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. That has been this episode of Talks With Ness. I hope it wasn't too long for you guys. I hope you can take this information or this, I don't know, these, these words that I'm giving you and apply it where you may. And I hope you see something from it. Invest in yourself, trust in yourself, believe in yourself, and understand that when you invest in yourself, it's for you. 
know what I'm saying? And once that fact remains true for you, then you understand that for you, because it's, it's about you, like your investments or what you're trying to do it, or the things that you've invested in, you'll see a great return from it uh, with self first, you understand? And then it'll show outward. So that's about it. So this has been Talks with Ness. I hope you guys are investing in yourselves and have a good day. Very nice.